Dear students, today we will discuss about type 6 creative questions of the chapter 3, 4 rules, exercise 3 and this is our 6th lesson. Before starting, I would like to say if you like my lecture, please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Let us start the problem. So, type 6 creative questions, divisor is 78 and the quotient is 25, the remainder is one third of the divisor. A. Question A. Find the remainder. Question B. Calculate the dividend. Question C. Verify all the given and obtain values. Let us start the solution. Solution A. Given that the remainder is one third of the divisor, we are getting this thing from the main stream or main information of the questions. So we can change these uh, sentences. This is a general sentence. We can change this general sentence into mathematical sentence. That is, remainder is means equal one third of the divisor. Now, one third means one out of three, that is one divided by three of divisor. And we know of means multiplication. So, the whole things will be changed into one by three multiplied by 78. So, now come to the point. So, one multiplied by 78 divided by three. So, we can write this thing 78 divided by three, that is 78 divided by three. We are writing like this way. Now, see the rough. Here 78 divided by 3. So if we take 2 times, then 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, remainder is 1. Take this 8 here. Then 6 times 3, 18. So your last remainder will be 0. So the result is 26. So remainder is 26. Let us state the problem. B. Uh, we know, uh, we know this formula. This is already given in the book. We know this from the division chapter. The dividend is equals to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. So the value of the divisor is already given 78 and quotient we have got quotient it is also given quotient 25 and remainder is given 26 from A. So if we put all of the values to this uh, formula then we get these results if you multiply this here look here uh, 5 times 8 40, 40 4 on my hand 5 times uh, 7 35 and 4 39 then second time put the 0 for the uh, hundredth position that means uh, for the tenth position tenth position and then multiplied by 216 one my hand two times 7 14 and 1 15 is then if you add this to all things then you will get 1950 that is 1950 put the value here and add with the remainder 26 then you will get 1976 that is 1976 so the dividend is 1976 now let us state the problem C solution here they are asking to verify all the values that means the values obtained and given uh, if we divide then if it match with all of these values then this thing will be verified so this is the dividend this is the divisor D divide the dividend by the divider then two time it will be 156 remainder is 41 take this 6 here then it will be 416 now take 5 times 78 it will be 390 then remainder is 26 so if you look very care carefully then look here this is the div dividend this is the divisor this is the remainder this is the quotient so all of the values match with the given and obtained values so all the values get matched with the given and obtained values hence the result is verified now now i'm going to give you some similar problem for your practice you uh, you can try this thing at home if you get any problem please write in the comments to the comment box Look here, problem 1, dividend is 8903 and the divisor is 87, remainder is one third of the divisor. Then A, find out the remainder, B, calculate the quotient, C, verify all the given and obtained values. Then problem 2, divisor is 3 times to the remainder and the quotient is 4 times to the divisor. Remainder is 2. So question A, find the divisor, question B, what is the value of the quotient? and see calculate the dividend so this is the say, type 6 uh, type questions uh, discussions and the related problem similar problem is given here so thank you so much if you like my lecture please subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you very much